Well, guys, got some cowboys down the street over there on some uh, horses. Look at them. Can't even hear the Mexican music going on out there. It's Friday, guys. We're going to have a good time. Um, well, guys, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to cook something in this hole that I have here. I've done a video of me doing barbacoa in here, and I'm actually going to do the same thing but i got something a little different that i'm gonna do still gonna do the barbacoa but i'm actually gonna add another piece of meat guys that i want you guys to see so uh what i'm gonna do is um I'm, i gotta run to the grocery store i gotta go get a few things and then i'm when i come back i'm gonna i'm gonna clean this hole out i, I gotta clean it out and i'm gonna show you guys how, how it looks once it's cleaned out um, it is a little bit after 8, so it's probably going to be a little bit dark when I come back. But I'm going to set up a light out here so you guys can see that. Okay, so we're going to be cooking something in this hole tonight. And uh, and we're going to show you that process of uh, when I clean it out. Okay, stick around. Okay, guys, so as you can see, we're outside tonight. Um, it is Friday night. Uh, it's Friday, July the 8th and uh it's a little bit past 10 and uh out there my son is out there with my wife uh they're gonna start cleaning that up right over there they're brushing all that out uh we have an old uh chicken coop right here we don't use it anymore but they're back there just trying to clean that area out and here my friends i have the hole that i'm gonna cook that barbacoa in tonight so um i'm about to start cleaning it up and I'm going to set the camera up so you guys can see me uncovering it, okay? And then uh, I'll get, I'll shoot you inside and show you, you know, how it looks and all that. So, uh, so yeah, guys, uh, let me get back to this, okay? We'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I'm going to open this up, guys, and let y'all see what it looks like in here. Um, I'm going to move this wood out the way here. Um, sometimes it has a lot of stuff in here. Um, it's just like wood and bark and stuff. Uh, but this is how I keep it covered. Uh, sometimes you'll see a bunch of ants too. So uh, I think that I think that may be the case here. But I got to move all this stuff to. To get under here so for the scorpion. yeah sometimes there's scorpions and all that stuff under here uh, I'm hoping as you you can see all that ant ant power over there so uh I'm hoping that I don't get too many ants here. Alright guys, that's how it looks. Uh, you can see... You can see all those uh, ant dunes. Right here, all these ant mounds and stuff. I'm glad there's no ants because it would really make this process harder, but... Are they dead? That's how it looks. Yeah, it looks like the ants are dried out. And so, I think the heat here in... Uh, in Texas, it's been real brutal the last two or three weeks. It's been like in the 105s, 103s. And I'm thinking all that drought probably drove these uh, these ants out. But but that's what it looks like, guys, in there. So we're going to... You see all those spider webs and all that? But I'm going to clean all that out, guys. We'll be right back. Okay, guys. So as you can see... I've cleaned out that entire hole. I done cleaned it all out. Took all the ashes out. And they're right over there. But it's empty. And uh, all those spider webs on the side that you see on the side of the casing. That's all gonna uh, that's all gonna come out, guys. So um this stuff right here that I got right there. I'm gonna light that up and uh then I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna uh, start putting these logs in there 
and then I got some more of the scraps so I'm gonna throw all that in there and get things going guys but yeah that's how it looks guys so when I light this baby up I'll bring you back okay guys there it is so I got it lit like I said I threw all those little scraps that I had on the side right here and behind the wood and I've turned it on and I threw that uh, that metal topper in there because I'm just trying to burn off the trying to burn off the spider webs and stuff so fixing to get ready here to pull it out but it's on guys and I'm gonna start throwing that wood here in a bit so just let's keep it going here okay guys so there it is I just finished chopping that wood and throwing it in there and now we're gonna wait for all that to break down uh that usually takes about two hours guys so uh it'll give me time to to get the meat ready that ain't gonna take long for me to get the bottle of core ready but i'm gonna prepare it a little bit different than i usually do and i'll show you guys when i do that process okay guys so as you saw already i was outside earlier and we're gonna we're gonna do some barbacoa in my hoe outside so i've got that fire lit right now um it's starting to die down and like i said once it turns into a whole bunch of charcoal lump charcoal uh and the fire's completely out then i'm gonna i'm gonna put my meat inside of there so um i'm gonna be using my, my cast iron my smaller cast iron that i got and as i told y'all um barbacoa is you know usually it's like a if it's the traditional way in mexico it's like a whole uh a goat it's a whole goat and um or or a whole lamb and so and here in the united states it's kind of hard to get that so a lot of people just buy the heads and they put the whole head in there with the brain the eyes the tongue the cheeks everything and then they also sell like the tongue by itself and then they also sell the beef cheeks by themselves so you can buy either one and you can mix them up well uh i like to buy the the beef cheeks because they're a little bit more moisture even though they do got a lot of bit more fat but i'm actually going to do, do i'm actually going to do something different and i'm going to show you guys what i'm going to do so uh uh let me set this up and i'm going to bring you guys right okay guys so this is what i've got i got my my beef cheek here that I said that I was going to show you guys and it's uh, 2.64 pounds and what I'm going to add guys is I'm going to add a piece of brisket point yep I'm going to mix it in I've never tried it like this and I'm anxious to do it because I noticed that I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos and a lot of people mix their, their meats to make barbacoa and they make it in different types of way they even use chicken believe it or not so i was like you know what i'm gonna mix it up this time and i'm gonna see how it tastes so i can tell you guys so we're gonna put a brisket point with the with the beef cheek barbacoa and i am gonna use my cast iron pan here that i got on the side i'm gonna put it in here guys so and i got a can of beef broth so what i'm gonna do is add a can of this into here and then i'm going to add another can of just water just just to give it some moisture in there and uh that's what we're going to do and i usually add tomatoes jalapenos garlic onions cilantro uh serrano peppers in there to make a salsa in the morning but you know what i think i'm going to make a salsa tonight and i'm going to show you guys how i'm going to make that because i i, I want to try something different and uh and I think I got a, a, a salsa in mind that I want to use. So that's what we're going to roll with. So, um, so yeah, guys, uh, like I said, I was supposed to bring you guys back on the previous clip. But I cut myself off when I said I was going to bring you guys right back. And it cut me off. So, so this time, guys, I'm going to bring you right back. Okay, so stick with me, guys. Let me get this going and ready. And we'll be right back. Okay, guys there it is I got it all seasoned up um, I did add the can of beef broth and half a can of water 
and I seasoned it with my SPGO. Okay, you guys know I always use that. And we're just gonna run it like this all night. So just giving you guys a peek. I'm gonna put this lid on it and then wait for the coals to break down. And then I'll show you that process when it's going in the hole, guys. Stick around. Okay, guys, so as you can see, it's pretty much ready. It's ready to go. So uh, what I'm going to do now is I got my cast iron right here with the meat in it already. Uh, and it's, uh, it's ready to go. So uh, we're going to put that cast iron. Well, first I'm going to put this uh, um, metal, metal stand. I'm going to stick it in there. And we're going to sit it in there. And then I'm going to stick my cast iron on top of there, guys. So that's what we're going to do. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and hand the camera off to Baby O and he's going to he's going to film everything that's going on, guys. So So let me go ahead and uh I'm going to stick this in the ground. I'm going to stick this in here, guys. Baby O will show you guys that. And that's it in there just like that. Now we're gonna grab the cast iron. And I'm gonna set the cast iron right in here, guys. And I'm gonna go ahead and that right there is a 20 inch casing. And this is a 22 inch, uh, my 22 inch Weber kettle top so this is what's gonna go on here so I'm gonna close this up here guys and if you notice I got my vents closed right here my vents are closed and the baby will show you here that temperature gauge there you see it climbing it's gonna climb guys but it's okay I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna close this off and when I say close it off I'm gonna put this dirt just like this guys That way, uh, this is gonna kill the flame inside because we don't want any flame. And so, we're brushing all this uh, dirt here. And that's gonna kill off the flame inside. We don't want any air going in there, guys. So I got that closed off there. And uh, if you can see the temperature gauge right here, it's reading almost 300. It's climbing a little bit, but it's probably gonna, I don't think it'll go past 300 because I've already killed the flame off here. So what it's gonna do is kill the fire and just have lump charcoal and it's gonna run all night, guys. Right now, it is, uh, it's 1235, guys. So, so it's 12:35 a.m. Um, and so we're gonna let, we're just gonna let this run all night, guys. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna let it run all night. Uh, we got this going, and then we're gonna make some jalapeno peppers inside that we got going too. And I got some chicken fajitas that I'm gonna make in my cast iron pan because we're gonna hang out tonight. It's not much for me to throw on a pit, so I don't want to turn on a pit for that. And, uh, and I'm also going to make some in noodle, but this right here is, is, is what I'm shooting mainly is uh, shooting this barbacoa on the hole with a brisket point and we're going to mix it all up and see how, how that turns out and then later on I'm going to make a hot sauce guys and I'll show you that so uh, but yeah guys we'll check in with you guys uh, here in a bit okay stick around all right guys we're going to check what's going on in here it's a, a little bit past 2:30 a.m. It's about 2:45 a.m. We're just gonna check the temp real quick. 
and it is reading about 200 somewhere in there so the temp is going down like i said uh it feels uh oh yeah it's hot you can feel that heat guys it's hot but yeah, I'm, I guarantee you, though, it'll be done in the morning. Even though it's reading about 200, it's going to be done in the morning because it's all residual heat, and it's just going to stay in there, and nothing is leaking out. It's pretty sealed. You can see how it's all sealed. Nothing's coming out. So, um, but yeah, that's how it's going, guys. Uh, it's almost 3 in the morning, and we're still holding it down. With uh, two people wearing all right, guys. So, got this hot sauce right here. Fast. What I did um, is I boiled my uh, tomatoes, I boiled my onions, my tomatillos. Uh, I, I did boil a garlic, um, jalapeno, and serrano. And then I put it in the pan with some oil. And now, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to put it in my blender, okay? So let me do that, and then I'll bring you guys right back. Okay, guys. So it's 4.30 a.m. in the morning, and uh, we're going to check on our uh, barbacoa in the hole. Uh, this is going to be the last time I check it because it's 4.30 in the morning, and I'm watching War of the Wars with Tom Cruise. And that movie's getting good, but I'm just showing you guys the temp. Um, it's about 150. Like I said, the temp slowly goes down all night, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, it's 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 cooking away, and it's gonna be done in the morning. So, but yeah, every everybody's asleep right now, guys. Like I said, it's 4:30 in the morning. And I'm watching some movies. My wife's still awake too, so we're watching movies. But uh, the whole neighborhood is quiet, man. I mean, you figure, right? 4:30 in the morning, Friday night. You can hear. You, I can hear some people in the neighborhood. You can faint to hear them, but um, but I'm just out here checking on uh, on my food out here. But um, yeah, guys, I'm a, I'm gonna go inside. It's 4:30. I think I'm gonna call it a night. Or morning if you want to call it uh, and I'm gonna go inside like I said I hear people out here talking and stuff but I'm going inside guys so I'll see you guys in the morning okay guys so there it is I'm gonna pull this thing out and see what's going on um, it's about it's about 9 30 so uh, let's see what's going on let me uncover this real quick okay guys And if you guys are wondering what the temp is, uh, the temp is reading about 125 right now. That's so I'm, I'm sure it uh, stayed in the uh, one to 200 temperature range. Oh yeah, I can feel heat in here, guys. Oh yeah. There you go guys it's done like I said they're still cold down there you can feel the heat um, so I'm sure it'll light right back up if I stir it up but there it is guys I'm gonna I'm gonna take it inside and then uh, we'll be we'll be back all right guys so here it is let's open this up and see what we got in here as you can see, you got a little bit of liquid stuff here. You 
let's open this up. Alright guys, look at that, oh man that looks super tender, can't beat that there, <clears throat> let's see, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, Let's see, let's tear this off. And let's give this a try, guys. Let's see what this tastes like. Oh, man. That tastes so good. What? <clears throat> what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to take this out. And then I'm going to bring you guys back so you can see it all shredded together. Okay, guys? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. All right, guys. So there it is. I done pulled it out of all the the, the broth, and uh, there it is. And I got it shredded here. And so what we're gonna do now, guys, is I got this hot sauce that I showed you guys that I made last night. And man, it looks good. Look at that. Good stuff. There it is, guys. Look at that. Good hot sauce. So, now what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to pour a little bit of this on here. Sorry, guys, camera. Yep, there it is, guys. Look at that. All right, guys. So, there it is. Look at that. And it looks good, don't it? So, look, I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of... <clears throat> put some lime on here. Mix it in there a little bit. And now, just fold this up and see what it uh, what it tastes like, guys. Hmm. Just like Mexico back in the eighties. Oh yeah. That hot sauce too. That hot sauce hits the spot. All right, guys. <clears throat> I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, it was in the ground for nine hours. It ran all night, never touched it. It was in the ground for nine hours, guys. I gave you all the last update on it before I went to sleep at like 4.30 this morning, 4.20, somewhere now. And then I went to bed and I woke up around 8 o'clock or so, but I pulled it out about 9.30. But yeah, <clears throat> I hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, you're going to have to wait for the next video, guys. We'll see what we do on the next one. But uh, make the hot sauce. It's good. Look at that. Mm. It's going to be good. My wife and son are going to like it when they get up. <laughs> so, okay, guys. I will see you guys on the next one. And God bless y'all and I love y'all.